Hello everyone, Not My Star Wars here, known as Daddy Star Wars on YouNow. More and more streamers on YouNow are using OBS, so I wanted to make a quick tutorial of connecting through OBS and streaming on YouNow. To use the new point system, you must use OBS on YouNow. Whether you're going to use the point system or not, this is the better way of using OBS through YouNow. So I'm going to show you the way to do it through the point system, but it's identical if you're just going to stream through YouNow with OBS without the point system. First things first is you want to set up your stream now. Assuming that everything is set up and you're here at this page, it says awaiting stream. And most important is that it says status running. You get these by going to the tool and selecting them here. The first thing you need to activate is under select tools is the point system. Once this is up and it says running, then you know you're good to go because this needs to connect to your YouNow stream. So begin here, load this up and make sure it says running. Once you have that, you're gonna come to YouNow you're going to hit go live. Here is very important. Generally, you would use this OBS setup and then click start streaming on OBS. That's not the way to do it. The reasoning is because you see here CPU, it's at 5.7 right now and the stream isn't running. If you go under start streaming, this goes up to about 30%. That's a lot of load on your computer, thus your stream lags. What you wanna do is use the virtual camera and it keeps it around 17%. You're going to choose here, camera, no setup. Make sure you pick at least one tag, but I suggest you use three. You come to the next page, you put your title. Then you're gonna pick a thumbnail or upload one if you don't have one. The last screen before you go live here, there's an advanced settings. You click that tab. Now here, you're gonna have different options. Some people have three, I have a bunch. You want to avoid all of these. What you want is your default Usually it's gonna be a real tech that is in your computer or laptop. Now, if you are using an external mic all the time to stream, then that's the mic you're going to pick. Pick the mic that you by default always use. But for a lot of us, we don't have an external. So you're gonna use what's your actual mic in the laptop or desktop. If you choose these other options, you can experiment, but you tend to not have audio. The best way is to just pick your default mic that you always use. Again, if you use an external, pick that, but pick the mic that you always use. And then here, very important, this is what it's usually on. You wanna pick OBS Virtual Camera. Then you just click outside of the box, and then you're gonna come here to OBS. This is only on Windows. Mac does not have the virtual camera, by the way. So you're just gonna come here, and instead of streaming, you're gonna pick Start Virtual Camera. Now watch what happens. You'll know you're okay, because now my OBS is showing on the screen that will be live on you now. So from here, I'm good to go. I can hit go live. Stream starts up and then you wanna come here and give it a moment. It's going to connect and it's gonna tell you. You wanna verify that it does connect here. Now you can go in and do any adjustments or do anything you need to with the games, but it's running. As you can see, the game system is running. If you were not using the point system, you would simply go to go live, pick the left option, you now put your hashtags, next page, put your title, next page, pick your thumbnail, last page where it says go live, you go to advanced settings, you pick your mic, you pick OBS virtual camera, you pop up OBS, you click on virtual camera, and then you go live. It's the same with or without the point system. The only difference is with the point system, start there first, start up the game, then it can link up to your you now. That is assuming that you have the point system set up and that your account has been linked and verified. This is the much better way of doing it because as you can see, look at my CPU, it's at 5.9 right now, 8.7. If I were doing it through streaming, this would be about 30, which adds a lot of load to your machine, thus your stream lagging up. Hopefully that was helpful. Let me know if you would like some other videos of this type and I hope you have a great time streaming on YouNow. Come visit Daddy Star Wars at the Cantina anytime. Please like, subscribe, and comment on the video. May the Force be with you. Impressive. Impressive. The most impressive.